pretty excited this weekend i was actually working on um a brand new media room in the basement we have this extra room in the house that uh devin used my son it's like his video game friend hideout and stuff like that and i got to thinking 95 vlogs in i'm pretty much got to get serious about this obviously this is has become a job of mine and isabel has a vlog the problem is our camera that I have now doesn't really have the best like ability to pick up light so I have to go outside to do most of my recordings and as you guys see sometimes I have to come outside in cold temperatures like even right now it's like 19 degrees outside and it's cold as hell so when I get this media room completed I'll be able to do the recordings and the videos and stuff inside the media room and uh, I have to also get some lighting and some things like that and then when we start the podcast I'll set up a table and some stuff and we can do that too. the outdoor living i have to say one of the hardest part about recording on this new setup where i can't really see the screen and i just got the camera is because uh, you can actually record something and not see it at all i just recorded like a a four minute vlog about the topic that i'm about to tell you about now and the whole image, like I was halfway in the screen and halfway out because I had the camera like sitting down and I didn't realize that it was up on me so close, but you could hear the vocals, but you couldn't see my face. It's pretty amazing how all the water and the trees are frozen. It's a cold morning, so we have like this frost on the leaves and everything. It's pretty sweet how it's just natural, it's nature, but it looks really good. Like it has like this ice covering on top of the water, on top of the trees, on top of the grass, it's pretty neat. So today I have an interview with a writer about uh, fire features in the commercial setting. And, and I, I really don't know what the interview is gonna be like fully. So I started doing some research on safety and things like that. And I thought it'd be a very good topic to put in my vlog today about fire feature safety. The idea was I'll do four tips on what makes a safe fire feature in a commercial setting. And then not just a commercial setting, when you think about these features, these um, safety features that I'm about to explain to you guys, you can actually do that in your residential setting. One of the things about fire features uh, on commercial settings is they're unsupervised because residential settings, I know at our, our house when we had our fire pit that we were always mindful of the children walking around every single time the kids came around. It's like everybody had this heightened state and like get them away, get them away. But when you're at a commercial setting, it's unsupervised. So you can have this fire feature burning actually for hours on its by itself and there's nobody there to turn on and turn it off. So that's why there's a different form of safety you wanna have for these type of fire feature settings compared to your residential. Number one, I would say is all about the coping. I Googled everything and one of the things it was saying is that you're coping and that's your piece that goes around the fire feature. Like say you build the walls and you have this top coping that's anywhere from two to four inches thick. For safety, you want to have your coping in between 12 to 16 inches. Like if you're wearing some clothes and you have some outfits that that could be a little loose, that could sort of be all over. The place. Number two, you want to have a protective casing around it. You see a lot of the new features, fire pits is sort of the new trend right now. And it's for, really for two things. Um, it was created to give the fire its body before it hit the air. Because if the wind's blowing and something like that, it actually blows the flames around. But having that glass screen around it anywhere from six inches to two feet that glass screen will give the fire the ability to produce itself and kind of give you a nice sheen of fire give you a nice pretty look but yet it's also safety too so you can't touch it it's there it still produces the heat but you have that safety encasement around it number three set your fire feature up that you can control 
the flame of it. So a lot of times now you either have the remotes on your cell phone or in your hand, or you have the keys are at the bottom that you can control the flame. In commercial settings, you can have these flames under control where you can have them high or low, and then they're not burning people up or hurting people and stuff like that. So you wanna have more control over your flame inside the commercial setting. Like I said, these could be commercial or residential because this is something you can use safety inside your residential setting at your house also. Number four, high traffic areas. Like when you do a commercial design or a commercial application on the fire feature, the ones that you're gonna use for warmth and hang out, you don't want them in a high traffic area. You don't wanna want wind blowing. You don't wanna give anybody the ability to throw something at it or put something in it. You sort of want them in areas where you can kind of sit back, chill, and relax, and they're, they're like a quiet zone. So here's just a few tips for fire features and settings. Like I said, I just thought about it today because I have this interview later and I wanna do my own research. And I thought, well, that would be a great topic to put out there because like I said, fire features are becoming a very great new thing inside the industry. So uh, instead of having this big old fireplace or fire pits anymore, there's a lot of gas fire features and you wanna have proper settings on these things. You wanna have the right measurements, the right height, the right elevation. Set the fire features anywhere from 14 to 16 inches off the ground. And what that does is it gives you a nice place to sort of use to relax and hang out about. Hey, thanks for watching the vlogs. We're elevating the outdoor living and I'll see you in a few days.